Hey everybody, welcome back. It's December 22nd. Um, we got some crazy stuff happening with Lana, and now Lily is calling Colonel Henderson. We don't know why. Things are not looking good. I'm a bit worried that things are going to like culminate on like a Christmas Day type of scenario where, uh, you know, everyone's like celebrating and something really bad happens. But I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we still got lots to do. I'm not sure. Uh, Muzika, you're going to be fine, buddy. Same with you, Percy. You're great. Uh, they say my stepmother's in Sharpwood for the day. She probably wants to see me at work, you know, to bug me with questions about my personal life or tell me about her fucking cataracts. I hate the bitch. I'd rather not even see her. If I decide to go hide in the forest all day, you'll cut me loose, right? What does that mean? Like... You do whatever you need to do, buddy. I've been working for days, and I didn't have the time or energy to go take a shower. I'm having trouble breathing over the smell of my sweat. I don't want to make it hard on the other guys. Can I go home and take a bath? Yes, you can. Sorry, buddy. I have probably been pushing these guys a little hard, but I feel like, you know, we're mostly... We're mostly fair. Mostly. Alright, so we need uh, one more frame for rifle. And then a lot of them for... Um, for the other guy, for man with gun. I could send, like, I could send Lighty here. We just need one clue for rifle, dude. And then we'll go through all the stuff, uh, see if we can make a conviction. Ooh. Ooh, what are these tunes? The future of Sharpwood's power plant is a topic of frequent conversation. People say it's been an emergency condition for a long time and it will need to be shut down for an indefinite period. Until there's money for an overhaul. The business, or the small business owners, it seems, are ready to pay what's needed, but they still haven't agreed on percentages. Got a blackout. All right. So I saw in like a recent patch that they uh, changed these music percentages and like scaled things differently. So all that work we done, like fine tuning our music earlier, out the window. Disaster. Alien lightning. Nash, do you want some real alien weapons? I'm not talking about the lasers from the movies that go pew pew. I'm talking about the real thing. It's a space musket that the aliens left in my garden. First, they left really... Uh, they left weird round signs in my field. Then they stole some of my cows. But now they brought me a true gift. Lightning from the heavens. Frankly, I'm scared of keeping such a powerful weapon in my barn. I think the feds have already guessed that there's something going on there. For several days, I've been seeing suspicious dark sedans near my place. So I suppose... I propose to make a trade. You can take the space gun for the police. I just need some diesel. All right. Taser. <laughs> uh, that's funny, actually. Oh, and a bunch of... Ooh. Oh! What? That's six cartridges. in progress. We got a and e happening. Uh, the monument... Or the mortuary attendant discovered that someone has broken the lock on the mortuary's front door and got inside. Sounds like a job for... Adkins and... Hodges and... Somebody else. Nah, probably not Hodges. I think we go something like this. We need another, like, uh, 430. Muzeka, good luck, buddy. Just drives in a straight line. You'll be fine. 559, in progress. Terror threat. Woman enter the bank with a bag full of explosives threatening to blow everything to hell. Alright. We should probably do something about that. Boom. We'll send Duval on the terror threat, obviously. That makes sense. Okay, so the B and E. A man is standing over a fat, slashed up female corpse, which he's pulled from a freezer compartment. He's holding a bloody scalpel and a homemade bomb with a timer. Homemade bomb okay, so it's a timer, so if if he draw it's probably it's not trigger activated. If we attack him, he's holding a scalpel. Let's order him to surrender with any one of these guys. Five forty-nine. The man obeyed the cop and surrendered. Turned out he wanted to cut open corpse of his hated boss, but put a bomb inside and sew it up. I, I mean, that's logical. The bomb would explode at the funeral, which would finally make up for all the humiliations he suffered at work. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Kill everyone they know. Yeah, no, that makes it. Five twenty-four in progress. Big fight. Some prisoners were playing football at the correctional facility. Prison nicknamed Cyclops made a rough play on another inmate named Boogeyman. Fight broke out and the prison guards didn't dare intervene. I feel like this is like a false alarm. Cyclops and Boogeyman. 
the last time we assumed a false alarm the other day uh, didn't work out that great. Can I... Uh, hold on. I guess we'll do something like that. Even closer. I guess I, what I should do is build it from the... I don't know. There's probably a lot of people smarter than me that can figure out how to do that the fastest, but... A woman was holding a bag full of explosives over her head. She solemnly declares, The four spirits told me that the devil controls this bank, and all the money that comes through only makes him stronger. Today I'm putting an end to it. Let's evacuate the building. Criminal refused to allow the cop to begin the evacuation. The forest spirits warned me the devil would send someone to save his servants. Everyone here must perish in the ruins, for they have fueled this defilement and their wicked gold. Snatch it? Probably speed? But we then we're just holding it. We could just taser. We got a whole bunch of cartridges, so let's just 559 go. complete. Psychiatry patient. Yeah, that makes sense when you think about it. Don't even got to think that hard, honestly. Mr. Nash, the missing corpse case against Victoria Ashworth is falling apart. Really? Not enough evidence. I'm going to have to release him. I, I, I don't like... They always say him in this game, uh, even when it's not a him. I don't think such a failure will have a positive effect on your department. I wonder what that was then. We'll pay the thousand bucks, but still. <laughs> it's, so, it's really bad that we just pay that and we're like, okay, no problem. Um, let's go negotiation here. I actually should have went shooting to max that out. And Belmont, Mr. Baton, will go everything other than Baton skills. Hmm, there's been, like, actually quite a few cases where I've, I've been pretty confident in all of them, but there's little details that I must be missing. A drunk elderly man attacked his friend for calling him a castrated dog of capitalism. And these drunk old guys are going to be the death of me, honestly. Everyone's elderly. Elderly. Everyone's drunk. Everyone's a murderer. <laughs> it's just like... Ridiculous. Uh... A boogeyman has pinned Cyclops against the wall and is trying to squeeze out his eyes. The other prisoners surrounded the fight in a tight ring and are taking bets on who will win. Oh, I just thought of something. We are not, we are no longer getting, uh, like, income at the end of the days. And, like, able to hire people. The last few days, anyway. Okay, separate the fighter with the baton or bet on Cyclops. Baton time. Uh, who wants this? Brady! Cops strikes the fighters with the kidneys. Boogeyman's battle against Cyclops came to a swift end. The crowd of inmates disappointed because all the bets were called off. Sorry, dudes. I uh, I thought that one was bogus, actually, but it wasn't. Okay. A drunk elderly man has his foot on his opponent's chest. He's already badly beaten the guy's face. He pauses and yells, I don't get it. Why is the world turned upside down? Did he forget who he was talking to? Nearby are other few drunkards respectfully nodding. Knock him. 5.30 complete. I think batons are too strong. I'm just going to throw that out there. I mean, so if, if I could redo this whole game again, there's a lot of things I would do differently, obviously, because the only way you learn is go by going through it the first time. But batons are just so... They, Solve so many situations, and because they're not single use, um, everybody sh you should have enough for, for like almost your entire force, you know. Five sixty four in progress. Terrible stench has flooded the street. Local residents are convinced that someone is cooking up narcotics. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna bring Adkins tomorrow anyway, so I might as well drop her fatigue a little farther.
do something like this. Not quite. I don't know if we need to send Duval there. Narcotics, maybe. I don't know. We're close to the end of the day. Okay, so we should have everything here. Uh, it's only a matter of, like, what order those would go in. But let's go through this now and figure out what's going on. So, Forensic. Uh, he was shot... He was killed by a gunshot at point-blank range. The bullet flew right through his mouth and came out the back of his head. A 762 NATO cartridge was found at the scene of the crime. Okay, so a 762... Uh... Wait, what? Man with a rifle? Man with a gun. I think 762. Isn't that like a larger caliber? I'm not a gun guy. I, don't, I honestly don't know. So you would think it would be a rifle. Let's see what this says. Younger daughter of Bruce and Roxy Moffat. Okay, so this is in the family that he was sh shooting photographs of. I was scared to get our picture taken because of what happened last time with the mister who was supposed to take our picture. But Dad said we could go get photographed outside the city and he'd let us ride in his new blue car. So I said yes, and then Mr. Photographer died again. I told Papa that he has to buy a yellow car. Grandmother says that the evil spirits in the forest are afraid of yellow because it's the color of the sun. But Mr. Photographer had a yellow car and he still died. Maybe it's because the sun is actually red. Yesterday I saw the sun was red. Okay, hold on. So, um, Dad's car is blue. Photographer's car is yellow. And the sun is red. Photographer's car yellow here. Blue here. So it's got to be guy with the rifle then. Right? It's got to be. Maybe we're just short a picture here. But that's the key. I got really cold. We were waiting for Mr. Cripps, but my mother said that I should be a strong girl and not shiver, so I, so, or I'd look bad in photos. I dream of becoming a photographer myself when I grow up, so I was very curious what Mr. Cripps was doing there for so long. He must have a lot of great things in his bag, but I couldn't see what he was doing over there because of the trees, and then I heard a really loud pop. I even bit my tongue. It was the same sound as when my cousin Ronan's motorcycle exploded. That's confirming the close, or the, the shot, I guess. Last time my husband picked the photographer, and you already know how that turned out. So this time I decided to take care of everything myself. I asked my friends, and several of them recommended Cripps. He's a young fellow who recently moved here from the city. Everyone assured me he's a great professional. He made a pleasant impression when we spoke over the phone. He was polite. He didn't play games about the price, and was immediately liked our idea of making a fo uh, photo portrait with the mountains in the background. He said that he recently bought a brand new long focus lens, which would be just right for this shot. And while he was getting ready to take the shot, it turned out there was a scratch on the lens that would damage the photographs. He was genuinely upset. He got really dark and apologized several times. Said that he would go get another one from the car and it would be fine. Seemed like he was a good guy. So that makes sense here. Okay, so this is him going back to the car. Um, goes back with the lens in his hands. Bends down to get something. But we have nothing about a phone. Jesus Christ, are we ever going to have this family portrait done? We ordered a photo shoot a few months ago. I bought a new suit. Roxy got an expensive hairstyle. Girls got new dresses. Photographer came to our house, set up his equipment, then died of an asthma attack a second before the picture, before taking the picture. Uh, the girls were horrified, of course, but what were we going to do now? Never be photographed? This time, to get rid of all the bad associations, we decided not to invite the photographer to our home, but to take a picture out of in nature against the background of the mountains. What do you think? We're all standing there, beautiful. We're about to give our best smiles. The photographer says he needs to go back to his car for some reason. Meantime, we're waiting there. Somebody blows his head off. His brains are smeared across the snow. I don't think I'm getting my deposit back. All right, so I think we just need to wait. We need to do one more photo from Man with Rifle, and then we should be good. So we're noticing these days are getting shorter. Uh, but everything else outside of these days is ramping up pretty quickly. Anonymous caller reported that a prostitute is doing business on the first floor of an abandoned girl's boarding house. Uh, okay. We'll deal with this. Um, I'm gonna send Muzika. Drug manufacturing was false. Okay, lovely. Wow. 
I love the sound effects. It, they're so good, and they're just like... You really feel like you're in there. Even like on this scene, you hear like the buzzing of the lights. I kind of like that. The boarding house looked completely abandoned. There are no sounds, no lights in the windows. Break the door down. Cop knocked down the boarded door and found a prostitute inside, sitting on her client, riding like a cowgirl. <laughs> uh, Madame, you look great in the saddle. The prostitute didn't appreciate the compliment, ran for the window. Uh, we'll run after her. 542 complete. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, another successful day at the office. I'd say. Yeah, so like we're not getting any more of the, uh, we're not getting the ability to like hire people or buy stuff anymore. That's weird. May oh, maybe that's because of, uh, maybe that's because of the blackout you think I'm driving around with a something? different room painting in the back seat? There's something you have to hear. Right now. But not here. I haven't seen this guy for a while. No, no, even further. Even here, someone could hear us. Are you kidding? We're in the middle of a snowy desert. There's no one here. Look around. That's a sweet snowsuit right there. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Here. I just want him to disappear. Oh, I snap. Exactly how it happens. I'm not asking you about your methods. You know our methods well, Sheriff Reed. Oh. And you also know that things like this are done for free. How do you think a sheriff can repay you? I can forget that you exist. Forever. That's... That's a generous offer, Sheriff Reed. I can't deny it. That's enough! Oh, you really shit. Want to be rid of this person so much. I said enough! Yes, I do. I really do. Colonel Henderson said that you wouldn't do anything. He has a plan, but he needs to work out all the details. Meanwhile, you act like nothing's happened. Okay. Oh, yeah. No problem. I'll be fine. Brainless bitch. What a brainless bitch. I didn't think she'd have it in her. Hey, Mr. Boyd. Wait. <laughs> Arch, leave it up there. Wait, wait, stop. <laughs> Poor guy. What are you blaming me for? What did I do? I, I'm just the messenger. Wait. Hold on. Fuck. <laughs> That's actually perfect, man. That's so good. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. See you guys in the next one.